Hello everyone and welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we have a 2008 Dale Earnhardt Jr. All-Star Paint Scheme. Yeah, 2008 and the number 5 for Dale Earnhardt Jr. as a COT. Now, this thing isn't labeled. It's not labeled at all. I don't know why it's not labeled. There's no, like, type of branding. Or not branding, but like, hey, this is the driver, this is the number, this is the type of race it was... Stuff like that. This is the year, but there, none of that was there. I don't know why, but I mean, I, I don't know if they did that in 2008 or not. They could have. I don't know. I think so. I think they should have at least. I'm going to try to pick up the 124 sometime soon, but before I do that, I kind of want to do a little bit more research on this uh, paint scheme because I've heard that it was ran, and I've heard that it was not ran. So I'm going to have to Google a few pictures saying, hey... Those, was this diecast on the track? Did this diecast actually race? Honestly, I have no clue. I, I mean, from the person who told me that it wasn't ran, knows a whole lot about NASCAR, so I'm going to believe him until I do my research. But I mean, I don't know. It could be not ran. It could be ran. Again, I don't know, but I'm going to do some uh, research. I It's, it's kind of weird, though, because I'm not seeing any... I don't think it was ran, because I'm not seeing any, like, B-Post logos. I don't see any... Like, Sprint Cup Series, I, I don't see any contingencies, I don't see anything, so I have no clue what this car really is. I don't know if it's like some type of like promo or something, I don't think so, because the back window is not different. I don't know, I'll have to do a whole lot of research going into this uh, diecast. I might have to do just watch a diecast review or something, see like if I can get any information, and then of course I'll learn later on. But I'm actually kind of impressed on how good this diecast is taken care of. The box isn't mangled, the box is not destroyed. The interior looks pretty darn clean, like it's not yellowed or, yellowed or anything. Now on the left side by the window net, it's a slightly tinted, just slightly, but it's not really noticeable. I just, I can kind of see it from here. The, I don't think the camera really picks it up, but uh, you can tell there's a little bit of like starting to yellow there. But I mean, it, this die cast looks like it was taken care of pretty darn well. So uh, I'm going to continue that, you know, that little stretch of how good this diecast is taken care of because i'm not going to let anything happen to this thing this 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 is a dell and hurt junior diecast you guys know nothing's going to happen to lowe's unless i like sell it off or something but i'm not going to sell this diecast i've actually wanted this for quite a while because i thought it was so interesting the number five on a dell and hurt junior cot it's kind of weird so i'm like all right I, uh, I do I did want this like and it's, uh, like I found it on eBay for a pretty darn good price. And, you know, this, this is why I love eBay. This is why I love eBay because you get a whole bunch of awesome prices uh, when you just get lucky enough. But anyway, this thing has a different box as well. So it's got like of course it's got the five. It's got the 1984 there Hendrick Motorsports. It's got Dale Jr. It's got it's like red and stuff. It's got let's see All Star Racing City Chevrolet Hendrick Motorsports there Action Racing. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I don't think so. No, that seems about it. But the box is colored correctly to somewhat of the die cast. Again, it's got the number five there. Dale Earnhardt. It's got that weird, like, kind of uh, texture behind it. It's going to make the Dale Earnhardt Jr. name pop. The All-Star Racing, it looks like you got a star in the background there and a star over here as well. I don't know. Pretty odd-looking packaging. So, I'm going to, again, I'm going to have to do a lot of research to kind of see what in the world is going on with this die cast. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this die cast review and see what this die cast contains. Here is the die cast out of the box, and this thing is actually quite nice. Out of the, more out of the box. Now it's uh, it's kind of it's not really plain, but it's not really like crazy either. It's kind of that middle ground. Like you got some red on the top, but it's not completely on the top. You kind of got that white splitting down the middle, separating it a little bit. You got the red from the star on the side. The numbers red on the roof and the side. The decklet sponsor is Hendrick Motorsports. It's got the red there as well. The red's on the Chevrolet bow tie on the front end. It's not bad. It looks pretty darn good. Now, I wish the... I don't know. I wonder how this thing would look with a black splitter. Because you can see the splitter is white. So, I don't know. Because, like, the reason I say the black splitter is because it's got the black roof rails. The 5 is outlined in black. It's got the black spoiler. But I wonder how a black splitter would look on this diecast. I don't really know for sure. I don't know. I can't really picture that in my head. I, th I still think it'd be pretty darn good either way. But I feel like a black splitter on this bad boy would be a little bit more better, at least in my opinion. So, let's go ahead and get this diecast review underway here. We got City right there and Chevrolet, or Chevrolet, I guess you could say, uh, right there underneath the 
city logo there. Got the Chevy Impala, Impala or not just Chevy Impala, but the Chevy logo there, or the bow tie, uh, Impala SS. Now, the white on this, uh, I was going to say uh, Dad Boy, I was going to say Bad Boy and Die Cast. Uh, it didn't really come out right, but it's like the white isn't really painted that well. I don't know if that came with age or if I don't know, like, I don't know what that's about, but it's not really too perfect out there on the splitter. But of course, we've got the grill intakes there, and we've got the uh, headlights, got the windshield right there with the uh, dashboard in the. And the, and the, and the, and the la, 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 la. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out of my system, I guess. In the cab right there, the little cockpit. Got the number five right there with the black roof rails, as I stated earlier. Got the roof flaps there. Got Hendrick Motorsports right there on the deck lid. Now, it's a little rough around the edges, some uh, some places. I want to have to uh, kind of touch that up, but it's not a big deal. Got City and Chevrolet right there. Got the bow tie there once again. Got the taillights with the number five in the right tail light. Moving on to the side, we got this uh, this star pattern to kind of like shooting back. It kind of gives it a lot of uh, speed looking vibes. Like say, say you just had the star right there, and then this thing would just zoom in around the track, right? And it would leave like say it's like a cartoon. Like when I don't know a character or like an animal just speeds off really quickly, they'll leave like a puff of smoke, and they'll have like the lines and stuff like that. So that's kind of what it reminds me of. I guess that's what they were going for. More of a sporty, speedy type look. All-Star Racing right there. I don't know what that is. 1984. I think we saw that on the box. It's got like Kendrick Motorsports around it. Dale Hart Jr. there. Got the number five. Got the exhaust right there as well. But uh, there's not really a lot. There's like, look, there's no contingencies. There's no NASCAR race car. There's no B post. There's no uh, Sprint Cup Series. They got the red Goodyear there. But, I mean, this thing is pretty darn empty. There is no, like, contingencies at all. So this, this this must be, like, a promo or something. I don't really know what this is in general. Like, I mean, like, I don't really know, like, what the idea of this was. Again, I gotta do some research, but still, it's just, it's so odd. Because, again, there's no contingencies, no nothing. It's, this thing is so blank, it's weird. I will say, though, I am kind of a fan of the of the design. The design isn't really that bad. It's, I mean, it's kind of cool. Again, it's, it's got that mix. It's not like, it's not too plain, but it's not too crazy. It's kind of got that sweet spot right in the middle. So honestly, I'll, I'll give a good rating on the paint scheme. Paint scheme is not bad at all. I mean, I guess it would have been a pretty darn good idea to, I don't know, get some research before I did this die catch review. But I mean, hey, you know how I am. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so it is what it is. But anyway, I do believe that's going to be all for this die cash review i don't know if i have anything else to say i don't know if i got like any updates or anything i think everything's nice and dandy i think everything's good i don't think i have to say anything uh so i'm just going ahead and end it on that point so once again thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next video Get up.